Hi, I'm Allie Rademacher Kronk, and I'm honored to introduce the 1970-1971 Minnetonka High School Girls Gymnastics Team as they are being inducted into the Skipper Hall of Fame this evening. These girls did not know it at the time, but they will be forever remembered as a team who broke barriers, not only as the first competitive girls athletic team at Minnetonka, the team also formed a year before the enactment of Title IX, which finally allowed girls to equally participate in high school athletics and activities. This information was discovered several years ago when my husband and I were purging through our treasures in preparation for a move. I found the program from the 18th Annual Athletic Appreciation and Letter Award Dinner, May 12, 1971. In the program, the only girls competitive athletic team listed was the girls gymnastics team. Whoa, what a fun revelation. That called for a celebration. So with the help of two former gymnasts and Minnetonka residents, Sandy Bjorlin Gosen and Peg Rody Schlitzky, we put together a reunion of gymnasts who competed from 1970 to 1973, my coaching years. That reunion was the highlight for the 19 women who were able to attend. Several of them had not seen each other since their graduation, and they came from all around Minnesota and the neighboring states. At the reunion, we laughed, reminisced, shared photos, looked at copies of old meet results, as well as reuniting with one of our favorite judges, Marion Deppner, and also Betsy Farners, former Minnetonka High School physical education teacher who helped with organizing our meets. During the event, an email was read from one of the gymnasts who could not be there, asking whether any of the women could do splits. Well, Prin Schmidt Hayes shyly raised her hand, and after some encouragement, she went to the center of the room, went down into a perfect split, and with a flourishing finish, and then got up easily. We all loved it. Some of the special memories shared by the women that afternoon were about being able to have a team uniform like the guys had having signs being posted on their lockers on meet days, going down to practice after school and working hard to learn new skills, traveling by bus to meets, earning a letter, and spending overnights in the school. That would never happen today. Several of the women went on to become coaches and teachers, but the best part of that is they have reconnected and will probably continue to do so for many years to come. Congratulations to the Minnetonka Girls Gymnastics Team of 1970-1971. I'm Jody Sheely Shock. I was a member of the Minnetonka Senior High School Girls Gymnastics Team for all three years of my high school from 1970 to 1973. I have the most unbelievable memories of those three years. I just, I will never forget those three years. And part of the magic of our team was our coach, Miss Allie Rademacher Kronk. The girls were wonderful. We knew most, we knew each other from junior high school pretty much all the way through high school. I've still kept in contact with a few of them and consider them very good friends. But for the rest of my life, however long I might live, I will always keep the Minnetonka Senior High School girls gymnastics team close to my heart and in my heart. And I am so, so honored to be inducted into the Minnetonka High School Athletic Hall of Fame. Thank you everyone who was involved in all the time that you put in. Hello, my name is Peg Rody Schlitzky, a 1973 graduate of Minnetonka High School. I was a member of the 1970-71 girls gymnastic team. This was the first year led by Allie Rademacher. Allie had a vision saw that there was an interest and persevered with the help of Doc West, Betsy Farnes, and Mrs. Deppner. Yes, it took a village in obtaining gym time, equipment, uniforms, and judges, but Allie was relentless. I was proud to be a team member for all three of my high school years. Allie and I continue to have a friendship that I cherish.
Hi, I'm Krista McDougall. Our team is very proud to be recognized this year. I want to thank the Minnetonka Alumni Association for this great honor. 1970 was a time of change. Women's rights were um, expanding in many areas and we were very lucky to be able to ride that wave of change as it pertains to athletics. We didn't think about making history at the time. We were just a group of girls who wanted what the boys had. Most of us came from West Junior High where our intramural coach, Bev Koski, whet our appetite for gymnastics. When West hosted the Metropolitan Area Minnesota Division Girls Gymnastics Meet, we had our very first taste of competing against other schools and it was fun. We loved it. We were hungry for more and we started to fight for it. We got the ball rolling in 1970 by securing some seed money for the first year. But we're still a team without a coach. And about that time, Allie Rademacher, now Allie Kronk, was a coach without a team. She had just returned to Minnesota and she was a dream come true as she already had experience organizing an interscholastic team in Washington State. She got our team organized and continued to fight for us. I'll never forget the very first uh, way match and what a thrill it was to go on the bus as a team. The first year was a process. We started out bare bones. We owe so much to Allie. She made things happen really fast and we're so grateful for her hard work, encouragement, and inspiration. I'm also grateful to the forward-thinking school board at the time and to the late Walt West, our athletic director. And not to mention, not to forget, Betsy Farness. She was a physical education teacher who also gave us invaluable support. We wanted what the boys had, and lucky for us, we got what the boys had. We enjoyed serious competition with other schools in the conference. We became members of the M Club when we lettered. We trained for personal and physical strength. And we went to the athletic banquet and we had fans in the stands. We made close friendships. For me, that camaraderie and the sweat we shared was the best part of all. Many of the male athletes enjoyed watching us practice from the doorway, often getting the doors slammed in their faces. Uh, but when it came to um, kind of sharing the athletic limelight, they were a little threatened at first, but they did overcome. And uh, at the same time, female classmates wondered why gymnasts had a team, but their sports did not. Well, within just a couple of years, the story began to change. Our team started two seasons before Title IX passed, at which time public schools were legally required to provide girls and boys equitable sports opportunities. So now, decades later, the doors are wide open to our daughters and our granddaughters. And it's so great to watch girls enjoy equal treatment when it comes to high school athletics. I know many girls credit the team experience as contributing to their personal development. In my case, I realize that I applied much of what I learned to how I live my life, like being able to finish with a smile even after a failure and to hang on no matter what. The team experience helped us all think bigger and aim a little higher. We're very proud to have been among those who first broke barriers for girls at Minnetonka High School. Again, thank you very much.